Sasha Banks. Naomi. Mostly Sasha Banks. I don't fuck with her. But. You know. You might as well put two peas in a pot. So apparently this bitch. Literally walked out. Of a. Rehearsal. Of a match against. I think. Nikki Ash. And. They're basically. They they had a meeting. And then. Vince I believe told them. This is the match. This is how it's going to go. This is the. This is the. This is basically the plan. And so. This bitch gets mad. And. Throws a fit. About. Oh I don't want this match to be like this. And I don't want. I'm not I'm not going to basically throw down like I'm not going to do my part. And so. What we've gotten to now is. Them basically walking out saying, oh, I don't want to do this shit and I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to basically do my job. And so. I have an official statement on the. The website. Here's what WWE said. What? And this is uh. This was yesterday. When the news first broke out. So when Sasha Banks and Naomi arrived to the arena this afternoon, they were informed of their participation in the main event of tonight's Monday Night Raw. And during the broadcast, they walked into WWE head of talent relations, John Laurinaitis' office, with their suitcases in hand placed their tag team championship belts on the desk and walked out. They claimed they weren't respected enough as tag team champions, and even though they had eight hours to rehearse and construct their match, they claimed they were quote-unquote uncomfortable in the ring with two of their opponents, even though they've had matches with these individuals in the past with no consequence. Monday Night Raw is a scripted live TV show which characters are expressed to perform the required of their contracts we regret we were unable to deliver as advertised tonight's main event wow just wow like how entitled of a bitch do you have to fucking be to fucking go to work lay that shit on the fucking table and leave like, that's kind of, that's disrespectful as fuck. Like, I don't care what anybody says. Like, that's just disrespectful as fuck. They gave y'all the fucking championships, and y'all just kind of spit in the face of that. You just, y'all just spit on it. You know, it's like you took a shit on it. You know. It's like you fucking just... Put it in some dirt and gave it back to him. Like, what the fuck? And my whole thing is this with Sasha Banks. Like, this bitch is so fucking entitled, bro. Like, she thinks she deserves the best fucking treatment in the locker room, bro. She wanted her own locker room. And this was this was rumored a couple years back. She wanted her own individual locker room. She wanted a private jet. She wanted a fucking... uh creative control of her matches and it's like bitch like this is a company that's run by vince mcmahon you can't call shots like i don't give a fuck how like privileged you are like at the end of the day vince is the nigga that says what is said to be done like i just can't stand this bitch like She thinks she deserves, like, everything in the fucking, like, world, damn near. Like, I don't know if she just feels like this because she's, like, Snoop Dogg's cousin. But, like, even though you are related to this nigga, that still don't mean, like, you deserve all this shit. Like, all this unnecessary shit. You know, 
And fuck Sasha Banks. I'm talking about Mercedes Renato, bitch. Like, I'm starting to get into some real fucking, like, fuck your in-ring name. I'm going at your fucking personality. I'm, I'm coming at your ass. Like, this bitch has to be the most self-entitled raw superstar or SmackDown superstar ever. Like, always complaining, bitching. Every fucking time. WrestleMania 35. Complaining. That she had to drop the title to the Iconics. You know. Every match she has. She can't even fucking deliver. Always has to phone it in. If you know what I mean. Like. And when it comes to her in ring. She's not all that. She's really not all that man. Like. Hold on guys. Let me shut my window. Niggas mowing the fucking lawn. My bad, y'all, but she really thinks she deserves all of that. And it's like, she, she, she doesn't have, like, the charisma, the fucking, like, mic skills. She doesn't bring anything to the fucking women's locker room. Like, she's boring as fuck. Like, she's just a, 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 a bitch. In real life, like, when she turned heel, she only did that because she knows, like, as a face, she really ain't shit. Like, you know. And when she is better, like, off TV, it's because she... She's better at being a bitch. Like, because if Sasha Banks is a heel, right? That's who she actually is in real life. This is who Sasha Banks is in real life. Like. And. It's. It shows a lot, like. In the the landscape of like the, the women's locker room you know overall though the four horse that the four horse face bitches like i don't fuck with any of them at all like sasha banks has to be the worst one like i'm just keeping it the book and my thing is like also this is disrespectful to just have a title right that you want and then basically give it back you know it's it's kind of a spit in the face also i do feel bad for like the fans like they pay to they pay for y'all to fucking to have that match like and y'all just want to y'all y'all just want to leave walk out and shit like that's just really unprofessional. Like, that's disrespectful too. Like, uh, you know, it's it's not right. You know, especially if you're scheduled for a match. You know, but even if it is creative differences, like superstars, they don't have control of shit like at all like no superstar has control of their own creative unless you're like roman reigns but even with him like vince wants his plans set out for him that only vince wants you know but this this bitch talking about old oh, the women's championships don't get treated right y'all are barely even on tv like, y'all are fucking, you know, y'all could be on TV, right? But y'all barely lose. You know, SmackDown, Raw, like, you guys barely lose the championships. 
you know, you've had him for like, I think, what, a month now or something? Like, if anything, you guys get better treatment than the fucking SmackDown champions. Like, the Usos. Like, niggas take pins every fucking match, damn near, against Riddle gay ass. So, how the fuck are y'all still complaining? Like, y'all don't get treatment like niggas. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, I don't want to hear that. Oh, the men get better treatment, bitch. That's a fucking lie. That's a fucking lie. Like, at this point, I think this bitch should just leave the company. Like, for her to just walk out. And Naomi, who doesn't have a choice, regardless, you know, it says a lot about Sasha Banks, like, the person. You know, if you were to just have a disagreement and just leave it at that, but still show up to work, that would have been fine. But for you to, like, leave and then just, first of all, get mad at Vince, like, you know, that's just really unprofessional. And I think the 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 next phase I think that's gonna happen or the what's gonna happen is she's probably gonna get fired. Like she's gonna get released from the company and then probably go to AEW so the fucking smarts could jack off to her matches. Like that's probably what's gonna happen. And most likely you know, it might happen like in two days. So, I don't feel bad one bit, but, you know, Sasha Banks, she's just, she's just really unprofessional, like, and so, this is what I want to talk to you guys about, uh, it's what's happened yesterday, actually last night when I got off of work and I saw it, I was like confused, like, but this does seem something that Sasha Banks would would do, like, you know, cause she's like self-entitled bitch. Like, this is the same bitch who, who literally says she's better than Roman Reigns. She's the top star of like 2000, last year, top star of 2021. She said she's better than Roman Reigns. And she said she wants to fight Roman Reigns. Like. The audacity of this bitch. Boy, I'm out, y'all. If there's any more updates, I'll keep y'all fucking notified and shit. But it's your boy, ABN. And I'm out this hoe. Peace.